because the healthcare systems are going to be more and more, you know, demanding in terms of what is the benefit exactly we bring to what patients. I have one last question. Given the complexity that you're talking about, um, not only behavior, but also in terms of, you know, people dealing with very complex diseases and very often a lot of comorbidities. Uh, you also talked about the fact that a lot of these approaches might not be linked to a specific drug. And if we look at comorbidities, they might not even be linked to a specific pathology. Um, now, our experience is that a major break on that kind of transformation is the mindset of the pharma industry, which is very much kind of competitive advantage. And that it's difficult to bring major pharma players to cooperate on uh, patient innovations and on patient support. How do you think that attitude can change? Because you're doing a lot to try to change that attitude across the industry. How do you think pharma can move forward to cooperate more? Um, I think that one big factor that is going to um, potentially get over this inertia is the fact that if we do not cooperate, in some of these areas, we are going to face a very serious issue of developability. For example, in cardiovascular. Now, in cardiovascular, you've got um, entities that we qualify as uh, one that may be actually much more diverse from a mechanistic point of view. And if we do not cooperate as an industry, also with the academia, to fuel the understanding of a higher granularity of those entities, we are going to get stuck with our mega trials in mixed population, ending up having averaged out benefits that will lead actually to an averaged out interest uh, from the healthcare systems because you know um, you have only a limited size and effect size due to the dilution. And in cardiovascular, you know, if you think about what oncology has been going through during the last years, um, we went through, over the last 25 years, we went from breast cancer to nine different entities. Still talking about heart failure with only a modulation on ejection fraction. There is a lot to do. And that's where we actually need to cooperate. And by you know, also considering you still have a high unmet need in heart failure, but you're stuck because of this uh, inability to better characterize subpopulations. So that may be one of the drivers. And the other driver is that we need to find a way as an industry to better interact with the healthcare systems and to go in that direction because the healthcare systems are going to be more and more, you know, demanding in terms of what is the benefit exactly we bring to what patients and how do we integrate that? Because um, there is a clear ask of getting way over incremental benefits. So with this pressure, you know, it's going to drive some changes in the way we consider potential stratifications and uh, potential you know, pre-competitive um, activity. <laughs>